girl, Coach Kelly, from the Coach Kelly Speaks show. I am in the studio. Today is Miro Monday. We have a um, very, very special guest who did an amazing job with these paintings. They have one that looks really looks, almost looks like my hairstyle today. I walked in, I was like, wow, it's, it's super amazing. Um, and so it's something that, that's new that we're doing here. Listen Vision Live is going to be each and every Monday at 4 p.m. So 4 p.m., right, guys? Is it 4 p.m.? 12. 12. Oh, it starts at 12. And what's 12 to 10? Okay, so it's um, Miro Mondays, 12 to 10, each and every Monday. Listen Vision Live. So it will be going on during the Coach Kelly Speak Show. Come on down, see some of this amazing, amazing artwork. I'm going to, um, hopefully, I can at some point go over and look at some of it and let you guys see the amazing um, um, work. Um, and so let's get right into today's show. As I always do, I always start my show with my week. You know, I believe that transparency is is the key to transitioning in life. Most of the time, people find themselves stuck in their situation because either they're too afraid to ask for help, B, they're afraid that people will judge them, and C, they find themselves falling into fear of the past and their own thoughts. And so on this week, I had, you know, I'm launching a brand new um, fashion house in downtown Upper Marlboro, Maryland. It's going to be all things chic, racer rock um anything that you can really 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 think about that can fit that modern day rocker chick on the mission that's what this fashion house is about as you many of you know i have a fashion also have another fashion house in camp springs maryland and had one in miami and also Houston. And so Successful Looks is taking it to the next level in fashion and in style. And so today, that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to be talking about fashion and style and art um, um, all month long. March Madness, make sure you go into my website, www.shopsuccessfullooks.com. I got up this morning at 3 o'clock this morning, and I woke up with so many entries, so many people were just inquiring about the brand new location, seeing where it is. Um, I will, um, I will, I'm, I'm not going to give the address. I've been really keeping it a secret because I don't want you guys to come over there until it's done, um, but keep me lifted, keep me prayed up as I go into a new dimension in fashion, and I go into my 11th year as a boutique owner. Um, and so I'm super duper excited. Thank you to all of you guys that are out there on IG that's following me now. That's on my live stream as well as Facebook live. Please share this video because I want to make this thing go viral and take it to the next level. So how many of you guys like fashion hacks? Well, I am an avid YouTube watcher. And so I thought that it would be so amazing that in the season of starting this new business venture that I go into a full throttle talking about what I love, which is fashion. As many of you know or may not know, I'm a shopaholic turned successful fashion mogul. And I'm super duper excited that we're going to be talking about these fashion hacks, things that you can do on a budget, balling on a budget. Everybody is balling on a budget at this point because it seems like we're in a generation of, of entrepreneurship and people are spending more more of their time and their energy on focusing on building their brand than building their closet. And so um, we're going to talk about um, accessorizing. We're going to talk about different trends that are out there, some trends that are still around, some trends that have faded um, we're going to talk about um, just different things. So we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to get into our fashion hacks. Hello, everyone. It's your girl, Coach Kelly, from the Coach Kelly Speaks Talk Show. I'm here to talk about my brand new book, The 30-Day, 30 30-Minute 30 Visionary Journal, Awakening the Finisher Within. I wrote this book because I wanted to inspire other people to be finishers in their own personal journey of business and everyday life. So writing this book has really helped me to organize my thoughts a lot better. And it has also just made me look at things different and not put so much pressure on myself because before I would try to compile so much information in at one time, but now it has slowed my pace down a lot 
and I'm able to really plan things out in a 30 day, in a 30 minute manner. And so I think that now, you know, with different projects that I'm working on, I feel that I'm a little more confident in what it is that I'm doing because I've actually planned it out better. So I hope that people who get this book will have a deeper appreciation for number one, who they are, what they've been called to, and the people group that they've been called to as well. Um, I also want people to have a clear and step-by-step -step guide to how to fight against fear and procrastination. I hope that this book will help you to win in each and every level of your life, each and every area of your life. I want this book to change the way you see yourself. When you look yourself in a mirror, that you won't see yourself through the eyes of fear, but that you'll see yourself through the eyes of faith, knowing that you are a finisher and that you will finish each and every project that you put your hands on. I just wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you, gracias, <laughs> because without you, I would not be able to do what I do, what I love every day, from styling my clients, to the boutique, and now my new show, The Coach Kelly Speaks Talk Show. This has been an exciting journey for me. I'm inspired by each and every last one of your comments, how you share my posts, you know, going on the YouTube, leaving comments, just all of that just warms my heart every time I read it. And so I wanted to just let you know that you can buy my book on my website at www.coachkellyseeks.net. Thank you again for tuning in. And I love you guys so much. Thanks. of an emergency so have you ever found yourself you know rushing putting on your clothes and you try to go and put on your deodorant and you end up getting deodorant on your clothes well basically this what what happens is you go and you put the deodorant on right and you get it on to your garment and so instead of rushing to try to change your clothes and feel like you need to find a washcloth and wash it off Go downstairs and get a dryer sheet, and it gets it off extremely fast and easy, and you don't have to worry about getting your garment wet. So it's a great quick hack, and also it can also freshen up your outfit too on your way out. Of course, you should be fresh anyway, but this dryer sheet goes a really, really long way. Um, one Another thing that I do is I like my room to smell good. And so I put dryer sheets um, inside of pillowcases I put um, and put them inside the bottom of my drawer. And it keeps all of my clothes smelling like I just took them out of the dryer. Um, I don't know who, I don't know what brand you love. I won't talk about the brand that I love, but, because I'm not going to plug them, but um, I do um, have one that I love specifically and I put them in my different sheets and all of that stuff as well okay the next thing is have you ever found that your have you ever just had a pair of jeans that you really really loved and you did not know you know you find a pair of jeans and then the zipper breaks well one of the hacks that I found is that you can take a keychain ring and put it onto your zipper like this I don't think you guys can see it but let me see so you put it onto your zip onto your zipper let me see I need help let me see if you got it my nails are a little long so okay nope I got it so you put it on like this basically you zip it up and then you attach it to your buckle which is a great way of saving you some time in buying a whole entire pair of jeans. And so I thought that this hack was amazing. I know for myself I'm going to use it myself because sometimes you just can't keep that 
you that pair of jeans that you really, really like. And over time, things do wear and tear. And also with jean care and even with fashion, when you have a nice pair of jeans or you're washing your blacks and things like that, you want to make sure that you hang dry those things. I know that this is just modern day housekeeping, but a lot of people do not know how to properly take care of their garments. They don't know. Like say, for instance, with sequins. Sequence, um, this sequence jacket um, is so super phenomenal, and I do have this in my fashion house. Um, it is something that you see nowadays. At one point, sequence was something that you only wore like New Year's Eve and very, very special occasions, but I'm now seeing it just just every day in street, just in the office. People are wearing sequins in the office. And if you were looking for a way to actually dress it down, you can pair it with a jean dress. Um, I have a dress here. Um, let me go and get it. And I'll show it to you one second. So you can do a basic cotton dress. This is a basic cotton dress. And you can actually put this underneath. And the key is really how you are mixing your fabrics together. So say, for instance, if I'm going to do, I know that I'm going to go out, like it's a Saturday and it's a brunch. Generally, when you go to brunch, you're wearing more so cotton, more linen, and you may not want to whip out your sequence. But nowadays, fashion is what you say it is and what you name it to be. And so one thing you can do is mix sequence with cotton or mix it with denim or mix it with a more relaxed fabric. And that way you can exemplify that you're still doing a urban glam kind of feel. Um, and also talking about just having a basic white tee, having the right camis, making sure that your undergarments are really, really, really important. Because one of the things that I see oftentimes people come in when they're coming into um, my showrooms, they're coming in, they, they're not really properly prepared. And so it's nothing worse than seeing someone with a really, really nice dress on and you can see every wrinkle in every row because they don't have on the proper undergarments. And so you want to make sure that that's something that you really, really invest in. There's so many on the market. You don't have to break the bank. Some people think that you have to go out and buy something that's really, really expensive in order to really look nice. You really don't have to. Some of the um, supermarkets, the Walmart, some e e Target, you can actually find a really, really good shapewear, and that's the key. Um, I do find that now I'm seeing a lot of people in these waist trainers, and waist trainers are not undergarments. They're not something that you're supposed to wear underneath a dress. Yes, you're on your way to the gym, you're toning, you're exercising, but it's not something that is intentional for to actually wear. And so sometimes I go out and I look and I see someone suffocating with a dress on and they're in a waist trainer. And you can tell that it's a waist trainer because you can see every moving part. You can see the wiring. You can see every single part that's moving and shaking. And that is not what the whole intention of a waist trainer was. It was for you to train your waist in the gym and then take it off, throw on a spank, throw on some other type of undergarment. Um, because it's really even not healthy to wear all day. I think the minimum of wearing a waist trainer is literally like between two to four hours. I'm more on the fence of the two hours because it does cause other issues if you use it as a diet. Some people use it as a diet and they're in a waist trainer every single day, all day, and they're still eating the cookies and all of that stuff too. But that's just a whole nother subject. So next we're going to move into belts, the power of the belt. Now, have you ever had a, have you ever had a dress that you were kind of like in between sizes and you really, really didn't know. You just like, let me just throw something on. And then you may have lost some weight. It may not fit. It may kind of not fit in some areas. Well, you can actually take a belt and and that belt can give you the shape that you need. It will give you some level of a contour. Okay? And so, um, yeah. So there's different kind of belts. Like the wider the belt, the better. So like if you're looking to like see for myself, it gives me an instant waistline. Um, of course, I am in the gym. You know, I work out um, and I do um, just everyday calisthenics in the morning just to prepare for my day. Um, and so for me, um, you know, I love these um, waist, um, these 
these big belts. They have the smaller ones as well. I have I have a whole bunch of stuff in this bag just to show you. And then you can have your thinner belts. Now, your thinner belts are really, really um, essential for if you want to do a more chic look. You don't have to do something that is completely... Um, you don't have to do a really, really... Um, I'm going to demonstrate on my mannequin. Uh-oh. Mannequin fail. I knew it was too tall. But anyway, um, I'll get it. Things happen. It's all right. Yeah. So this particular belt, if you notice, like, it gave this my model, Susan, <laughs> it gave my model an instant waistline. And a lot of times when you are mom, and that's a lot of a lot of my clients are moms, so when they come in to the um, showroom, they're looking for something really, really fun and festive, something that they can, very comfortable pieces. And so I think that this belt just changed the game. It looks like a complete different um, item, and you don't have to break the bank. So accessorizing, finding the right accessories, finding the right pieces that you can add to your wardrobe um, if you don't want to get an entire... Um, what uh, an entire um, new look and that's one of the things that we do at successful looks is that we believe that every woman has one every woman has a successful look and our job with our fashion stylist is, is to find the look that's for you a lot of times I think that with um, with society we get one trend and because at one point you knew who was from New York you knew who was from Philly Every city had some level of distinction in fashion. And now because of Instagram and all of these other places, it's like all everything is just merging together and everybody is looking the same. And it's okay to look different. And so it's very important when you go to the mall with your friends that you use, you use their advice, but make sure that you push through with your own fashion, push through with your own design as well. Because it's really about, like for me, I'm doing something different. I'm wearing these different glasses. I'm reinventing my look because that's what fashion is really, really about. Trying to find a great mixture of um, textures and tones that you relate to. And that's what we're going to talk about um, after this. We're going to talk about finding the, the, the best palette for your look. give up on their dreams or any part of life? Uh, I think people have a tendency to get up, give up on their hopes and dreams and aspirations due to, some might say defeat, but in defeat there's also a lesson to be learned and I think a lot of times if we draw on the lessons of defeat, it actually can give you enough fuel to overcome any and everything, but ultimately it comes down to just feeling sorry for oneself, having self-doubt, and ultimately losing focus and belief in oneself. So, oftentimes people give up. What do you think the reason is? Um, I feel like people give up because they're scared to fail. And, you know, failure is like a big reason to why people don't try as hard or they don't want to see like the end of result. So I think that's why people give up. Thank you. So why do you think people give up on their dreams? Um, I think people give up because of time and because of listening to other people. They think because if you want to be a singer, you can't make it in that business. So it's really, really hard. Or even when you get older, after a certain age, as a kid, you're in high school. So you have all these big dreams, big imagination. And you're like, okay, I can do this, I can do that. And then you get even older, you're in college, you're like, well... I can do this, but I can make more money in this. And then you're like, okay, well, I kind of got to change it. I like this, but I'm going to take a little bit out of it and try my and try my hardest to make some money. And then you get even older and you're like, I just need to make a living. So then you kind of give up because 
you need to survive. You need to make a living. You need to, to, to help your family. And now you have a family. Now you have a house or an apartment or something like that, and you have no money. So it's harder to say, well, I got to chase my dream, but do I eat first? It's a little different. And um, you listen to everybody else. Everybody's telling you, no, 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 no. And you take it and you run with it and you're like, well, maybe it's just not for me. No, it wasn't for them. It's just a little harder, but that doesn't mean stop. Welcome back. Okay, so in our last segment, we talked about finding the perfect pilot for your style. Now, on our website at www, if you can bring up our website, um, it would be great on the screen because we have a new thing called Find Your Profile. And so what we'll do is you, when you go onto the website, you can put in your um, www.shopsuccessfullooks.com. You can put in your individualized profile. There's questions about what's your favorite color, um, how would you describe your style. And once you submit that, you become one of our glam girls and you're able to, we're able to style you. And also, um, we're able to understand your style before you actually come into one of our fashion houses and you, um, so basically, the Glam Girl MVP is a new program that we have decided that what we'll do is we once you complete your profile, once you complete um, it online, your application, we will handpick pieces. I personally will handpick the pieces, um, and you're you're going to get it in the mail every single month. And the fee for that is um, $49.99. And I think that is just a great way because everyone does not have time. And so what you're going to do is you're going to go and you're going to log on to um, shopsuccessfullooks.com and go and do a personal profile. Once you complete your profile, then you go click on the link that says join now, once you join, I will go over your profile and I will handpick an item um, that will complement your individual style. And every month you're going to get something because I understand that we live in a society where, you know, you can be seriously busy. Right. And you don't always have the time or energy to go to the mall. Um, or you may not have that time and you're just looking for something specific. So with um, it being February, um, when you go onto the website, yeah, um, I think you go to, now that part of it's called Happy Bra, Happy Life. And that's what I was talking about, how so many women, they don't know their real bra size. It's like a, a thing where you see that woman and it's like, you know, she has a bra and then in the middle is something else going on. So that's because she has never been properly sized for her bra. So that's one of the things that is new on our website is that we have a blog that teaches you things that, you know, you may would not have already known. And so that's what the Glam Girl MVP is all about. So you go in, you sign in. Um, or you sign up, and we'll send you the steps. Um, and then also when you go into the website and subscribe, you get this awesome opportunity to get um, $5 off your first order. And um, also you get an amazing opportunity to get personal styling to your phone. We're working on an app where you'll be able to find your style and you'll be able to shop. There it is. You'll go to on the website. And so you will receive a complete look each month for $49.99 directly to your front door. I'm super duper excited about this because I have so many glam girls that say, just send me stuff. And so this is an opportunity where you will be able to get your own personal box from Coach Kelly's um, Sense of Style and um, of course, I want. I'm always trying to break my glam girls out of wearing all black. I know that black is chic, and that's one of those things that we um, will just run to. Okay. So next, we're gonna talk about this this infamous thing with the sheer shirts. Now, the sheer shirts are coming back. Um, the netted shirts, where you can see underneath it, right? You can see my hand underneath it, right? So it's completely sheer. Now, this one has some fur on it. It's kind of cutesy, right? 
But with these with these type of tops, you want to make sure that you um, don't wear a pink bra because that's one of the things that we see so far too often is that you go to the club and there's always the girl that has the sheer shirt and she wants to put on a pink bra. If that's your style, that's fine. I'm not knocking it. However, I'm just saying making sure that it's done well. Just because something, you can be different and not be weird, right? You can do something that's totally off cusp and still do it in a way that it really, really looks stylish, right? It's a difference between trends and being stylish. And the goal is to make sure that your look is well, that it's polished, and that you're not out here looking crazy. And so Coach Kelly want to make sure that you have total, total beauty, okay? And so we're going to switch our, our mannequin and we're going to get into scarves. So I'll go ahead and we'll take this off and then I'll show you how to properly um, wrap a scarf. I'm going to get into off and it's in the weather is changing you could you could leave leave that off for right now so i could do this demo i think this is a great canvas thank you my model is popping today yeah she popping so it's so many it's so many things that you can do with a scarf i think um uh-oh let's hide that we don't want that to show so with our mannequin i'm going to demonstrate um so now um, scarves are, this is a really cute scarf. It has these little skulls on it, right? So I really like it. Of course, when you look in, into a spring and a, um, summer scarf, generally it's sheer or it's linen or it's, um, it may be, um, maybe like a knitted material. And so you can wear a scarf in the summertime and in the spring. I think when the, this trend first came out, I was kind of nervous. Like, I'm going to be looking real hot with a tank top and a scarf on. But it's really, really a nice look. It really will update your cami or your tank top or your wife beater, whatever you prefer. So you can do it either this way. You can drape it like that and just kind of wear it like that and let, let it hang in the back. Give a little cape look. Um, or then you can bring it around like this and just layer it and just let it get baggy. And if you want to, you can kind of like do one of these numbers. Do like that. If you want to do it like that, it gives a nice little chic look. And it just took this, this simple camisole to the next level. And it's really, you can get these anywhere. You can get these even... At the um, dollar store, I was at Walmart, and they had all colors. Of course, we have these at Successful Look Fashion Houses. And then you can also do it like this. Like, if you're just wearing it, and you just want to just have it like that, you can do it that way. And if you want to, you can also tie it and belt it this way. Like that. Now you have a nice little scarf belt. Let's have something different so fashion is really really all about finding your own individuality and that's what it's really really about so i welcome the the trends that are now i see a lot of a lot of um artists out there and they're very very expressive one thing about me when i very first began in fashion i had literally every color hair like i was that person i had all of the different colors you know um i have one of my glam girls she has gray hair but she decided she wanted to take her style to the next level so she got purple hair so fashion and style is really about your individualized look and as successful look we are there to coach you and to help you to find that look whatever it is and that way you are still in line in the lines of fashion and you're not just going out here looking crazy or setting trends that does really work for you and so you just want to make sure that every person and, and that's what i love so much about the personality and the and the profile is that we're not just styling we're literally having a virtual styling personal session with you virtually online because I understand that everyone doesn't have time to come in and shop, um, but we do have style appointments available. You can go onto our website and actually look it up and see that we 
actually offer um, coaching as far as fashion coaching and then getting you ready for interviews. One of the things that I think people don't realize is that there is a, like how they said, there's an app for that, right? There is a application in fashion for everything. So if you're going from going into the office, of course, if I'm going into the office, I'm not going to wear that sheer shirt with a pink bra. I'm not even going to wear it with the black bra. I may wear it with a shirt underneath it, like a full top to bottom if I'm going to a corporate setting. Now with so many people, um, a lot of us millennials, we work from our phones, we have our own thing going on, and so we don't we don't have to be bombarded with a dress code. But if you are still in a office setting, you want to make sure that you are here to the different rules and regulations. So making sure that if you are going to wear this cami and you're going to wear it when you leave, you're going to hop out, make sure that you have on a cardigan, something similar to this piece that I'm going to put on the model. Just a cover up, you know, it, it, even if even if I'm going to take this off because this does not work, this does not match, but just finding things that you can um, uh, um, work with, allow it to, I'm going to get my belt out of my bag and show you something else we can do. Because with all of these different accessories that are on the market, you there's no reason why you should not... Um, know your style by now and so what I'm going to do is just take this belt and just give you another example of how amazing a belt um, can change your overall look now I would not do a wide belt with this because I don't want to distract it from all of the beautiful gems that are in this item and now this item is a part of our curvy love section and our curvy love section is literally all um, goes from 1x to 3x and so we are here for our curvy love and so i think this is really cute and i would just kind of bring it in just a tad bit on this side oh no i'm on the other side i'm looking at the camera just making sure that it's it's lined up right okay so that is perfect you can pair this with a pair of jeans um it's a very breathable material so it can go well into the spring up to the summer and you can just have something like this and keep it in your car <laughs> so that if you decide later that you're going to go to a happy hour later or you may want to go get some drinks with your girls later and you'll have something that would um just sparkle and so we're going to change her out to something more casual and so we have such a range of different um, items and different fashion and different um, things going on. So I'm going to change her out and put on this cute little sweatshirt. Now this sweatshirt has been flying off the rack. Um, I love that thing. Um, I'm trying not to get every single thing that I sell. It's really, really hard. And you can only imagine my closet is just like packed to the brim <laughs> right at the moment. So I'm trying to use some discipline. All right, so this piece that we have. Love this. This um, scuba material is really, really popular. It almost looks like a sweatshirt, but it's actually a new material. It's called scuba material, and people have been raving over the material because it really, really gives a nice, this, you see how puffy that is and cute and contour? And it's really all in the fabric. Like, if this was an actual sweatshirt material, it wouldn't have been able to do that because the the, the fabric itself is more relaxed. And so... Get into these fabrics. Um, they have so many new fabrics that are on the market, and they're experimenting with with all kinds of different things. And I think that is really, really, really cool. So, this is a um, cute um, sweatshirt that you can just, you know, throw on some chucks with it, and a pair of jeans, and you're out the door. So, I really like this piece. And so, we're gonna get into and understanding your particular textiles and things that make you feel amazing. So. Um, with all of the different fabrics that I brought to the table, whether it's you feel more comfortable in sequins or you feel more comfortable in whatever that is, you want to find that feel. So when when you come into the fashion house and we sit down and have the consultation with you, 
we are looking really to establish your um, pilot. What do you, what is your style palette? So do you feel more comfortable in, some people will just feel more comfortable in yoga pants. And so we'll work around that. We'll work, we'll work around that situation. Understanding um, even your body shape. That's great. Um, a great, really great idea is knowing what your body shape is. If your body shape is a, is a heart, meaning that you, your body shape is this way, meaning you're more endowed at the top and more slender at the bottom. That's called a heart shape, body shape. So you're looking for things that will bring more volume to the bottom. So you're looking for bell bottom jeans. You're looking for jeans that flare out a little bit more because the whole point in fashion is to balance you out. Now, the person who have a heart shape, broad shoulders, um, more endowed at the top, this may not flatter them as well because it's going to add more structure and dimension to that part of their body. So for me, this would be for someone ideal like myself. I'm very small at the top. I really don't have anything going on. So this would just give me life, honey. This would, this would take me to the next level. And it would balance me out very, very, very well. And so a person that is an apple shape, an apple shape is basically when you have broad shoulders, you're well endowed, and most of your body, most of your body fat is centered um, between your your hip and your shoulder. So that's more of, a, of an apple shape, right? And your legs are smaller. Then you have hourglass. Hourglass is the brick house, right? So you have more of a thinning waist, more endowed at the bottom, more endowed at the top. That particular shape, a lot of times I see women, they really try to avoid showing that shape because of the attention that they get and they really don't want it. So sometimes they'll come they'll come into um, they'll come into the showroom and they're saying things like, you know, I just want to cover it up. But you don't have to, you know, of course you don't want, make, a lot of women don't want to wear really, really form-fitting clothes. They want to really... Um, you know, they want to take that away. So and one great example is to put on a blazer. Now, the blazer will even you out. It will give you some level of coverage, and it will also give you a really, really great silhouette to go with your body style. Um, and then the last one was the pear shape. The pear shape body style is when you are bigger at the bottom and smaller at the top. And I think I may be pear, I guess. Yeah, I think I'm pear. And um, so I do, like I said, I'm always looking for things that will bring more volume to the top part of my body. And so just like art or anything else, it's really, really an illusion of textures and tones and fabrics. And that's what it really, really, really is about. And the more energy that you spend in um, the more energy that you spend in learning your individual style, learning your individual body style, learning all of those things, because I think when you, when you, when you, when you don't know the information, you shy away. You just like, you know what, I'm just going to go get me a sweatshirt or I'm going to just find something that will just cover it up because I just feel comfortable that way. So you want to just make sure that you take that time out and discover something new. And that's what we're looking and hoping that you'll get from Successful Looks. We're going to open March the 3rd. I'm super duper excited. Follow me at w, um, www. I'm saying www. You're not following me at www. You're going to follow me at Successful looks um, my website is shop successful looks.com um, so I'm gonna um, if I can I guess I could um, just talk about do we have anything else that we could change out can you change her out while I'm talking I, I put I actually threw my phone over there so that I could and um, so you can see the see it better so I don't have access to my phone enough to see if anybody had any questions but if you do have any questions or concern if you want to take the profile test you can um, I think that is a great segue to understanding your fashion understanding who you are um, on another deeper level and so um, I think just waiting I'm just waiting just waiting for my assistant my mom to style my mannequin for me my, my beautiful model so let's see. 
So all week I'll be doing, all, all the month of um, March, um, in the season of launching this new fashion house, I'm going to be talking about all things fashion. And it was one of the things that um, Jeremy said. He said to me one day, he says, you know, I follow you on Facebook and I see you doing so many great things with fashion. How about bring in a fashion segment into your show? And so today is my first um, official fa fashion segment. I'm super duper excited about that. So we're going to put her up here. See, she's she's a, a full a full mannequin, but we're not able to use her um, fully. So we just want to put her on the table on the um, tabletop. So that's right. So this puff sleeve look is really really popular. I'm I'm noticing a lot of people. Of course, patches are in. You see, and that's what I was supposed to bring my patchwork jackets, but that's okay. I'll go over that stuff next week and talk about some more fashion trends and hacks and ways to um be um, balling on the budget right and that's um so anyway let's get into this so this is a, a very popular top that is trending um it has this half of the material on the sleeves um everyone for some reason is giving shoulders nowadays you see it with the sweatshirt that i just had and now you see it here with this designer where they wanted to showcase um, this taffeter material, which is a great material when you're trying to create um, texture and um, volume and all of those things. And I do love love. You know that I'm a love junkie. I, I am at a relationship advocate, you know, and I believe in love. So anything I see with hearts, anything I see with love, I always grab it. And it always sells. Like anytime I get anything that has love on it, it always sells really, really fast. So that is one of those things that we have. So... So, so, oh, okay, so in closing, um, of course, each and um, well, every two to three months, we have our wives night out, which is our wives tribe, and we started something called inner conversations, and I'm just amazed because the things that a lot of um, people struggle with within their marriages and within their relationship is a lot of times a reflection of how their relationship with their self, as we always say. Um, the universe responds to the frequencies that you send. So when you neglect yourself, other things around you are neglecting and you find like why opportunities are not knocking down my, knocking down my door is because you're not taking care of yourself and zoning into yourself. And that's what we're going to be talking about at the Wives Night Out, which is going to be March the 24th. And so get your tickets there on um, Eventbrite as well as the Coach Kelly Speaks dot, Coach Kelly Speaks dot net. Um, website. So we're going to, um, I wanted to get into some of this art if we can, if we can kind of segue over there and I can show some of my guests, my viewers, my live stream audience, um, some of this amazing work. Yeah, I know this is the first, this is the first time I've ever, um, just kind of stepped outside, but we can see, is this on? This is live? Oh, okay, I'm good. So, this is this one of you guys' ours? Or like how this, okay, okay. I think I can that. Okay, so this is really, really nice. Can you guys see, Mark, can you hold this for me so they can um, flip it around so we can talk about that? I love art. Okay, here you go. So that way you can hold it for me. Okay, so the this particular artist is R. Rodri. Oh, Robert. Okay, all right. So I like this one. As soon as I came into the studio, Jeremy was like, that's you. And it's funny because I haven't had my head flipped up like this in years. But being as though, you know, I'm opening up a new fashion house and getting into reinventing the look, I decided, let me just flip her. Let me flip her up and go to the next level in my flip. So this is so cute. Like, if it was blonde, it would look like me. What y'all think? Y'all think it looked like me a little bit? What y'all think? A little bit. Okay, clinch my pearls. A little, a little resemblance. Okay, all right. So this one I really like. It's inspiring to me because it looks like um, they have the city in their, it's the city in mind. Like I guess that would be the vibe for that. Um, to see maybe a, a, a level of consciousness in the mind concerning your city. I know for me, I believe that 
I'm called to a generation to heal my millennial. Like my show is the voice of millennials. I go and I speak on the behalf of millennials all the time. And one of the things about millennials is, is that we live um, without intentions and we live according to our convictions. And that's one thing about us. And I can see this being um, transcended through this um, art form. And this one, Halo, I'm thinking a halo, right? That looks like a halo. Um, also another level of consciousness. I can tell that this artist is um, an awakened artist that's thinking about more than, um, than what you see around you. And I love that kind of, um, uh, I like that kind of art. I think it's amazing. And so was it any other ones? No, that's it. So you have some other ones that they left. So every single Monday on Listen live from 12 p.m. to 10 p.m. we'll have mural Mondays and so I'm super duper excited that um, we'll be um, able to feature art and um, creativity within um, the District of Columbia so we'll see you next week I'm looking okay I'm looking at my time so we'll see you next week on the Coach Kelly um, Speaks show one more time each and every Monday on Listen Vision Live, we will have Miro Mondays from 12 p.m. to 10 p.m. on Listen Vision Live. Y'all, come on down. Come on down. You can come on down and be a part of the live studio um, environment. If you want to come and see the studio, um, we are right um, on the on the campus of Howard University, you come down here and sit in the studio and get into some of this art. And don't forget to register for the Wives Night Out. All right, guys. All right. I'll see you guys next week. Thank you.